What's up, ladies and gentle fish, and welcome to another training video. With commentary over it, of course. Now, this is a deadlift day, so what I did was 465, no straps for doubles. I've been trying to train with no straps because I'm trying to catch my grip strength up to um, my strength with straps because in the jungle there's no straps and there's no belt so i just think it's really cool to be able to go in the gym with no accessories and just be able to lift the weight raw like a freak now as you guys may or may not know i break my lifts up into training a compound movement for that day rather than like a body part most people when they start lifting they'll say like i'm gonna train arms or i'm gonna train chest and buys a lot of bodybuilders do this too but i think that's a less effective way than just focusing on a compound movement every day and building your accessory movements around that because when you're doing a lot of body parts every day there's ultimately going to be overlap which is going to stunt your growth on your compound movements because you're not going to be able to fully recover which isn't going to allow you to do progressive overload too but i think training splitting it up by body part you'll still get gains from that that's how i started training and i still progressed but i think ultimately this is the more effective way and a better way for more advanced lifters and my technique here looked pretty good. I felt pretty good. I think it's getting time for me to probably do a deload week because I didn't feel great doing this. But my knees looked like they were a little far over the bar on a couple reps. And also my neck looked like it was jerking up on a couple reps. Um, some people say to keep your neck neutral when you're deadlifting. I've never liked that. And by neutral, I mean your head is in line with your spine. So it, it would be down when you start the lift and then rise up as you're coming up. I never liked that. It always felt uncomfortable to me. I like to start with my head up, um, but my neck was kind of jerking up, which is not good because you can strain muscles in your neck now. After that, I did three sets of heavy, not that heavy, but moderately heavy 225 pen lay rows, just trying to be as explosive as possible off the floor. So as you can see, my grip and my feet placement are the same as they were when I did the deadlifts because what I'm trying to do here is emulate the first portion of the deadlift the portion off the floor if, if you can get as fast as possible on heavy pen lay rows it's going to translate into an even stronger deadlift I can guarantee you because pen lay rows were made by a guy with the last name pen lay. I'm not sure what his first name was but he was an Olympic lifter and Olympic lifting is a little different from powerlifting. It's more about um, athletic lifts, I guess you could say. But these are great for sports, too, because they're really a movement where you have to move the weight fast. And that's everything you want to do to train for a sport. You want to be able to move as fast as possible. Whenever you're lifting in general, you should always be trying to move the weight as fast as possible and build fast twitch muscle fibers. That's going to make you just a better athlete in general. Um so my technique there looked pretty good and then uh i did two sets of heavy dumbbell shrugs i've been throwing these in for one of two reasons one is that i like doing them because they strengthen your grip i also like to do farmer's walks for that reason but also i just want to see if they'll build my traps up because i've kind of had mixed feelings about shrugs throughout my training experience Sometimes I'm like, yeah, they're good. And other times I'm like, ah, oh, they don't really do anything. But I'm giving them a shot. I think my neck should have been tucked in a little bit more on these. But other than that, they look good. Um, I do think they've been helping me catch my grip strength up which, with my actual strength with straps. Because before, like, I could barely even do, I don't know, 350 with no straps or 315 even. And it's been like a month of training without straps. And I'm already doing 465 for doubles and it's going to be really awesome when i'm able to do you know my max with no straps it just i don't know it just seems cooler to me it's like you're in the jungle and you're just lifting raw but anyways if you guys like this video please like share comment subscribe if you didn't like it i don't know what to tell you it's your loss but uh thank you guys for watching peace